Okay, so this is Mac Ubuntu, and uh, it looks like it's been going for a while, but this is a new version uh, to go with the latest version of Mac OS. Starts off with this splash screen, uh, and I think it's based on the Wimpy's version of Ubuntu Mate, uh, which is a really good version, and uh, so good groundwork to work on. When you get to this screen, so it still looks like Ubuntu Mate, obviously, uh, the password is Mac Ubuntu. So this is how it starts off, and you can see it looks looks very nice. Uh, you've got the dock down here, um, and uh, and obviously the nice wallpaper and everything as well. So if I go to the dock, you can see the application show up. And uh, if I go to terminal, there's there's two terminals in here. There's mate terminal and there's tilde. So let's do tilde. This is on a bit slower memory card. I didn't have any memory cards free at the time. Actually, this. Tilda's not starting up at all, does it? Let's try the mate terminal. So you can type in on the top here what you want to come up with. Let's click on mate terminal. There you go. Uh, and I've installed uh, NeoFetch on here. So sudo apt install NeoFetch because that allows you to check all your system. There you go. So Ubuntu, so it's based on 20.0.4. LTS. Uh, it comes up with this uh, problem detected. I remember um, Wimpy's version doing this. I don't think it does it anymore. So packages, shell, resolution 1920 by 1080, the theme. So Mac OS 5.2, Cupertino Big Sur, Mate Terminal. Uh, it comes up as 2.294 overclock. For some reason, the Pi 4 misreports the overclock now. It's actually at 2147, uh, and you can see this is my 8 gig Pi. So let's close that down. Uh, so at the top here, activities just does that. Uh, I think it's coming up with a search for, so if I type in disk, for instance, there you go. So it comes up with, there. it's a way of searching your apps. So click on disks. And lots of things have been themed. It does look very nice. You can see it's got the Mac icons here. You can see that it's already expanded, so you don't need to do anything to the partition. Down the bottom here, we've got Firefox. We've got Mail. We've got Files, and Files does look like Mac OS. We've got Rhythmbox. Uh, we've got LibreOffice Writer. Help Software, so there is an App Store on there. So let's click on that as well. Doesn't feel as snappy, but I have got this on a slower memory card, so I'm gonna I'm gonna think that it is that. So settings as well. So you can see it's got the nice dock here, and it tells you the open apps. And that's my uh, that's my RetroPie stick in there as well. Then there's trash, and then there's this show applications. And I do like the uh, the way that the applications work, uh, the way that you can search for it at the top there, or you can just cursor down and uh, pick something that you want to open up. And under utilities, you can see we've got a calculator in here. Does that look like the Mac calculator? No, I don't think it does. But it's got all the Mac, uh, you know, close icons and things. So if I was to click in here, you can see all of this it does look very much like a Mac and uh, nice and clear. Let's close that down. Uh, so this was the, this was the settings uh, so I can Go down here and I can pick something on board. And, oh, I see, it's it's settings for individual apps, it looks like. So it's to do with notifications. Uh, here we go, here we've got the normal settings. So it defaulted to the applications one. But, uh, so if we click on about here. Ubuntu desktop. It's the 32-bit version, not the 64-bit version. It detected my printer right on startup. I've got a wireless HP printer and it detected that, which is nice to see. Display, my monitor is a 1080 monitor and that all worked fine. So here's the software package. So explore, installed. Yeah, all of that works nicely. So I think there's two software packages 
Let's have a look. Software, so there's a software update, a software, yeah, software boutique is on there as well. And I think that will look different to this. Not a supported Linux distribution. Ooh. Okay, so let's close all that down. Uh, so uh, you can see that Writer works fine and looks good. Again, it's got all the customization for Mac OS. There's the wallpaper let. And let's just show you the, uh, so Firefox is the web browser it uses, and you get very good performance out of Firefox on Wimpy's version of Ubuntu Mate, which as I say, I think this is based on that. I couldn't really find out a lot of details. It's thanks very much to Asta underscore, uh, who told me in the comments about this and gave me a link for the website and also the password, because I didn't know the password, but it is Macbuntu. It'd be nice if they could get rid of those splash screens at the start and make it feel fully like Mac OS, uh, because it's, it's going from the Mate uh, splash screen and I, I see that um, on Ubuntu Mate Monkey Pie managed to change the startup screen because he put like a sort of uh, uh, a CRT startup screen on his so it is definitely possible but this is early days and I like the direction it's going indefinitely and so here is the website macbuntu p4.pw I did uh, before I found this uh, or before I was given the link by Asta I did find some much older versions, so it looks like Macbuntu has been worked on for quite some time. Uh, and this is more, because uh, this site is very new, and when I looked at it yesterday, there was almost nothing on here, but it, I can see there's various things here, like, so ARM HF Pi 4 download, uh, Snap Store added, Chromium browser added. Ah, so I haven't got the latest version because I haven't got the Chromium browser. So if I just type in CHR, yeah. So I haven't got the Chromium browser. Let's go back to that. Uh, VLC added, LibreOffice added, customer service call. What? Uh, and also there's PyKiss here, look, which I don't think is on there. In fact, I can tell that by the files because it will be in here. Yeah, so PyKiss isn't on my... So I've downloaded uh, not the very latest version. Uh, and it looks like, I think that's probably the same. It, it does seem to be changing quite frequently. Version 1.1. So that's the 1.1 download, yeah. So however you apply this update, well, let's, let's click on it and see what happens. So it looks like it's just a Google Docs download. Oh, it's just, it's just type putting this into terminal, it looks like. Let's see what happens if we do that anyway. So right click, it won't, won't seem to let me copy. Let's download it and see where it's gone. Do I get, oh, yeah, let's open it with text editor. There it is. What happens if I literally just copy the whole lot into terminal? Now obviously uh, Salvador from Pi Labs also does something where he skins, but his is Raspberry Pi OS 32 bit with Mac OS and that also looks great as well. So password Mac Ubuntu. So I have already updated it anyway. Just gonna see if it automatically went through everything. Now, so it looks like, yeah, you have to individually copy them over. Uh, so Snap Store, Chromium, VLC. So it's literally just in installing them in the normal way. So how did it do, because PyKiss, I thought only worked properly with Raspberry Pi OS. So you might find with PyKiss, so it says download, but is it gonna be the same where it just says sudo apt install? Yeah, curl git. So this is the way that you would normally install PyKiss, but you might find that not everything works, but I think some of some things do. So that's a nice way of adding uh, various different things to it. So let's close that down. So yeah, good work. It's, uh, it's early days, but so far I like it. I like the look of it. It, uh, it works pretty well. As I say, I'm using a slow memory card here. I have overclocked, and so if I go to other locations and computer, oh, you can see it, it's all my NAS drive then. How do I go back? That one? Let's go for res let's go home. So if I go other locations, uh, you can see my NAS drive works straight away and I can navigate around that, but let's show this overclock. 
So it's in the boot folder. And I overclocked using, I use plug it into my iPad uh, with a little SD card adapter. I've shown it in other videos. Uh, and then go down to user config.txt. You're not doing config.txt for Ubuntu. I don't know why it does it in that separate way, but uh, it actually says if you if you open up the config.txt, it actually says don't use that for overclocking to use user config.txt. But it works perfectly fine. So you can see here I've gone over voltage equals eight. I usually do six, but this is my eight gig pi and it seems to need a bit more power. ARM frequency 2147 and GPU frequency 750. Okay, so once again, thanks to Asta underscore for letting me know. I always like a new OS um, or, or at least a new skin on an OS. It, uh, it does look very good, very promising. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.